so now we can discuss on the contact bed filter which is an example for attached growth process we have already discussed intermittent sand filter so now let us have a look on what is a contact bed filter so this is the pictorial representation of contact bed filter you can see this filter is similar with intermittent sand filter except in two factors the one is its filter material is having much more higher size than the filter material used in intermittent sand filter and also this particular filter have line so these two are the factors which differ this contact bed filter with intermittent sand filter this particular contact bed filter is having lining and also it is having filter material which has higher size than that of an intermittent sand filter so this is also an example for attached growth process here also uh, the sewage from the primary sedimentation tank will be sent to a dosing tank then through a siphon the sewage or the waste water is sent to the bed filter okay before moving on to its operation let's have a look at about its construction details the filter material that we used in a contact bed filters are gravel ballast or broken bricks so higher size filter materials are used in this particular filter and also this filter media size is about 20 to 40 mm the depth of filter will be about 1 to 1.8 yeah, me, sorry meter so this is the size of this particular filter so now we can move on to its operation its operation uh, actually have four steps the first one is filling second one is contact third step is emptying then fourth step is oxidation so the contact bed filter will work on this three four steps filling contact emptying and oxidation so at first the outlet valve of this particular tank or filter remains closed and sewage is admitted through the dosing tank the depth of effluent tank will be about 5 to 10 cm over the top of the bed for filling it takes about one to two hours within one to two hours the whole system will get filled up now the second phase is the contact period in this period the dosing tank will be closed the sewage will stand for about two hours so in contact period the sewage will stand for about two hours and this hours is known as the first contact period in this period the colloidal and dissolved matter gets transferred to the filter media and be in contact with bacterial filling now the third step is empty during this the outlet valve remains opened and the sewage will be withdrawn slowly without disturbing the organic filling again this emptying will also take about one to two hours now the last phase is oxidation in this the contact bed stand empty for about four to six hours this is known as the second contact period on this rest period atmospheric oxygen enters into the voids of the filter media this oxygen will be used for the decomposition of organic matter by aerobic bacteria so this intermittent sand filter and also contact bed filters are of aerobic treatment methods which is also an attached growth process so this is how this contact bed filter works
the stabilized organic matter after this oxidation will be washed off during the next filling.